Hey there, Tejano fans. Welcome to another episode of TMA TV. I'm your host, Leah Cruz, and I'm excited to bring you another great show. On tonight's episode, we have Next Gen Tejano artist and Tejano Music Award winner, Savannah V. We'll also be catching up with a vocalist that has had tons of success in the Tejano industry, Mr. Roel Martinez. Also on tonight's show, we'll catch up with one of our spotlight artists, Ricky Versetti. So let's get right to it and turn things over to Elicio as he chats it up with Savannah V right here on TMA TV. Hey, I'm Elisa Liao with TMA TV, and today I'm with Savannah V. Hey, Savannah, what's up? Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet so, you. So, you know, I've heard a lot about you. I've seen a lot of uh, your videos and stuff like yeah. that. You're, you're awesome. So, the fans, I don't know if they know this, but you started off on American Idol in 2013. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so tell me a little bit about that experience. So, I went all the way to Hollywood. I got to start here in San Antonio at the Henry B. Gonzalez. Okay. Um, Ten rounds, then went to Hollywood, and I finally got cut in Hollywood. So, oh. after Hollywood, um, as I was on the plane, I got my new manager, which was Margo Morones at the moment. Okay. And from there on, I released my single, well, my CD, Savannah. And after that, I just started I started uh, performing and doing my thing I mean I've been performing since I was 10 years old but I mean professionally yeah wow that's a long time so tell me uh, now you also have won the 2019 the Music Awards video of the year is that right yes so what was that experience like uh, that was a new experience for me I recorded that with Gabriel Zavala of course mm -hmm. and uh, Ahmed Tuesta um, and what'd you say about my mama? No, <laughs> and then another yeah. one, um, what was his name? Uh, I forgot his name. Ankel Cano was uh, okay. one of the producers that helped us on that, that song. Um, we were at Gabriel's house <laughs> and it just all came together. I mean, Ahmed and Gabriel and of course myself. Is Actually, it true I Gabriel has the best barbecue in this house? I, I mean, I didn't eat that barbecue oh, that day. I was drinking oh. 1800, so I don't remember. Oh, 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 hey, then you were singing real good. <laughs> and Gabriel's like, I'm going back with Stephanie. I was, like, I was just already drunk. Yeah, that was funny. So, some of your music uh, is very different than what a traditional Tejano sound would be, mm -hmm. right? So it has like a little bit of reggaeton, some rhythm, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, one, how did you come up with that concept of kind of introducing that sound to the Tejano market? And two, what are the challenges that you have oh. with people that say that's not the Hano music because you know people I get always want to classify what the Hano music is so in your mind please give it to okay us. I don't know when I when I started working with Ahmed it was just like we need something different when we came out with Loca Peligrosa it was just way different for me it was a different sound fused and that's the video of the year that yes you want. it was a different sound fused with a little bit of reggaeton fused with a little bit of hip-hop fused with a little bit of tejano in there so when people tell me that it's not tejano this is we're moderate modernizing tejano music i'm grabbing little bits and pieces of the reggaeton market grabbing a little bits and pieces of you know mariachi music and putting it into trap music and I can't believe come out with my last You come out with the Savannah V sound, right? Yeah, because you know, I cannot be Stephanie Montiel and I cannot be Shelly Lares and I can't be these artists that already have their names. They, they are their craft. I am my craft. I am Savannah V. So what is on the horizons with your, what is your newest stuff? What kind of projects are you working on? Well, I mean, we just released La Mas Fuerte and I was just talking to Gabe about, you know, doing a video, but I also got to meet a good uh, artist named Ricky Versetti and I talked to Gabe about this last year, how, you know, I kind of wanted to venture out and do different things and he told me, do it, like, why not? Why are you holding yourself back? Don't hold yourself back, do it, you know? So I'm putting my hands in, in little everything. I'm not just staying stagnant in one little box. I want to open myself up to see, hey, you know what, what if this song hits? If this song hits, okay, well, we're in that market. If, if this song hits, we're in that market. Of course, I'll never forget where I, I the people who, who love me and treat me with you know respect and have given me the open arms, which is the Hanu music, and I'll never take that for advantage. You know, I, I'll always keep that um, in my heart and love it. It's just that it's time to venture out and do different things, and that's what I'm doing right now. Well, it sounds very familiar to kind of what we're looking to do. Uh, we want to introduce the Hanu music to another audience. Yes. Uh, you know, the other musics are very popular, but there's no reason they shouldn't be listening to our music too, yes. right? So if we can do a combination of 
blend, kind of like you're doing a remix. I think that that wins for everybody. Yes, sir. Yes. So uh, because San Antonio, really, there's so much talent here, not only in San Antonio, but really in all of Texas. Yes. There's so much talent that that you know just needs to be directed. Yes. So, and that, it has to be directed the right way. You cannot just go into to, to some producer studio uh, right. without direction. Listen to the producer. I mean, we we don't always know. We're just artists. I'm just a writer, okay? I'm not a producer. So I'm not going to be there trying to do his job. You know, I respect my producer. I respect his craft and what he wants me to do. You know, because there's sometimes I come a song and he's probably like, oh, my God. <laughs> but some of the stuff that I come out with, I mean, sometimes it's good. Yeah. Sometimes it's not. Yeah. Sometimes. Is it usually after some 1800, though? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Hey, so, okay. Any departing words for your fans? <laughs> oh, my fans, I love you so much. If it wasn't for y'all, I would not be doing this. I would have given up a long, long time ago. Um, when I see y'all's love and y'all's support, and you know, y'all are the ones that call and request our music on the radio. Without y'all, we wouldn't be here. And um, I love you, and thank you for supporting me and continue supporting me, because I got a lot of stuff coming up. And where can they find you? Didn't ask you that. Where can they find you? <laughs> oh, you can find me on Savannah of Ocean Music. Everything's actually Savannah of Ocean Music. And if you can't find that on Instagram, you can go under my Savannah V page on Facebook. And then from there, it links to everything. So Votion, like motion in the ocean? Like motion hey, in the motion. Okay, all right, so that's Savannah V. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? What happened? what happened? what happened? I forgot. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I got a gift for you. What? I didn't even get a Christmas present. For me, Savannah V, too. Oh, my Savannah gosh. V. Hey, awesome. Check it out. That's <laughs> right. Hey, hold on there. Check it out. Thank and you very much. And that's one thing I want to tell, tell the young artists. Whenever you're doing a radio tour or whenever you're out there, um, make sure you give them your T-shirts, all your merchandise. That they they love that. Did you bring? I wear extra size medium. Oh well, I got I got a large there, but I don't know if Gabe's gonna be arguing with you about that. <laughs> I think he's extra medium too. <laughs> extra small. Extra get it small. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for coming this afternoon. It's been a great uh, time visiting with you. You're so good, awesome, it's awesome, it's exciting. Thank you. Everybody, this has been Savannah V. This is Elise for the Out TMA TV. Back to the studios. Huge thanks to Savannah V for stopping by. And now let's check out a video that has earned Savannah V her Video of the Year Tejano Music Award, right here on TMA TV.
loca, peligrosa, loca, peligrosa Tú me tienes Loca, peligrosa, loca, peligrosa Great video and an amazing song. Make sure to add it to your new Tejano playlist now. Okay, it's time for TMA TV Spotlight with an artist that is making waves in our onda and beyond. TMA TV is proud to introduce rapper Ricky Versetti. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ricky Versetti. And first and foremost, big shout out to TMA TV for letting me be on the show today. So I'm a Latin American artist. I do urban music mixed with Tejano, mixed with reggaeton, mixed with a little bit of every little Latin sound that we have out there. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I want you to check out the new single that I have with the hottest Tejano artist out right now, Savannah V. Uh, we've been working real hard in the studio. We got some new material coming out. We got a new cumbia coming out for y'all. I got a lot of music coming out for y'all that I want you guys to go check out on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, YouTube. So I really encourage you guys to go and watch TMA TV. Make sure to follow us. Make sure to stay tuned. It's your boy Ricky Vercetti, man. And we in the house and we here to stay. Huge thanks to Ricky Vercetti for an awesome segment. Also, congrats to Ricky for landing a spot promoting Carl's Jr. Restaurants on a national TV campaign. Up next, we have the Tejano Gold Countdown and an exclusive interview with Tejano Gold Countdown charting artist, Ruel Martinez. But first, a short break and we'll be right back. Los Conjunto Cats, originally from Seguin, Texas, are taking the Tejano Conjunto industry by storm. Young cats ready to lay it down Conjunto style, baby. Los Conjunto Cats consist of Art Campos, Bajo Sexto Vocals, 19-year-old accordion player Zeke Campos, 18-year-old bass player Diego Campos, and Nathan Alzalde, drummer at 16 years old. The brand new album by Los Conjunto Cats, some type of Conjunto Groove, available now everywhere online. Coming this fall, the all-new Tejano Music Awards National Radio Show, hosted by Bino G. Hear exclusive Tejano artist interviews, hear the latest Tejano hits, and so much more. Available on multiple Tejano radio stations and podcast shows around the world. The all-new Tejano Music Awards National Radio Show, hosted by Bino G, coming this fall. Everybody loves Tejano dancing, especially Elicio. And this past weekend, he went to New Beer Depot looking for a dance partner and also the best Tejano dancers in San Antonio. Let's check out how it went. Thanks, Leah. Hi, everyone. I'm Elisa Leal with TMA TV. I was having fun this weekend. I've heard a lot about this new gen Tejano stuff, right? We put it on the show and it sounds real good. But do they know how to dance? That's what I want to know. Does this new generation of Tejano fans know how to dance? So I went to the New Beer Depot. We're at the New Beer Depot. You probably heard of them. They've been on Facebook. Everybody knows who they are, right? If you're Tejano, you know who they are. Thousands of people watch their scream every night from all across the country. The best Tejano dancers in San Francisco, they do their turns and all that kind of stuff. So I went there. I figured, hey, this is a good place to start for looking for some new Tejano dancers, right? So that's where I went. Plus, I needed Tejano dancers, so I'm going to go see if I can get a dance partner. As I walked inside, it was packed. I started checking out the dancers, and I was looking for that special lady. And I saw my old friend, DJ Jake. What's up? I started checking out the dancers, and I was looking for that special lady. DJ Jake, shout out DJ Jake. He did a Midnight Tejano mix where 
all the best dancers were invited to go onto the floor to be on the show. Check it out. Thanks, Alicio. Better luck next time, and don't eat too many of those tacos. And now let's see who's number one on Rudy Trevino's Tejano Gold Countdown Top 10 Songs of the Week. Number 10 this week, Quédate by Magnifico Siete. Number 9, The Crazy Pimps, featuring El Gran Sabor, Cumbia Barulera. Number 8, Roel Martinez with Un Grito Medley. Number 7, Stephanie Montiel with Quédate Con Él. Number 6, Lucky Joe, Hasta La Miel Amarga. Coming in at number 5 this week, Marcos Orozco with Cada Día Más. At number 4, Jay and Roxy Perez with Tu y Yo. Number 3, the South Texas homies with Por Fin Decidí. Number two, Texas Latino with Completamente Enamorados. And number one this week, Shelly Lares with Porque Tu Eres Mi Cariño. Congrats to all the artists that made the countdown this week. And now it's time to catch up with an artist that has had a very interesting career. Let's turn things over to Alicio and see what's new with Roel Martinez on TMA TV. Hey, I'm Alicio Liao on TMA TV, and I'm here with Roel Martinez. Roel Martinez, how you doing, brother? Thank you very much for having hey, me, man. I appreciate I'm, I'm, it, man. I'm glad to have you here, man. Gracias. Hey, hey, I got to start off. You're from Laredo, bro. That's Laredo. like my, my family's hometown. Tell, tell us, tell, I'm sure you're Laredo's hometown boy. It's hot. It's always hot. It's, it's always, always hot. We always complain, brother, but you know what? We don't leave. Hey, hey. <laughs> because you. you know why? We don't deal with tornadoes. We don't deal with anything else but the hot weather, man. Oh, all right. you know what, man? But that is some heat over there, bro. Oh, yeah, man. When you guys over here are like 90s, we're like in the 100s. When you guys are in the 98s, we're like in 110, bro. Yeah, man. It gets hot. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? But you know what? In Laredo, no matter how hot it is, everybody still wears jeans. Oh, man. Nobody wears shorts over there, bro. I don't even go outside, bro. So tell us, uh, for the folks out there that you know don't know who you are, uh, Roel Martinez, when did you start your career? Tell us a little bit about who you are, man. Um, I originated from Laredo, Texas. Okay. And I started back in uh, 88, 88. 87, 88. Okay. And um, I mean, I've always loved to sing. My my dad used to sing in a trio. Okay. You know, back in the day. And um, I got it, I guess, from him. And I've, I've always loved, loved music. And uh, I would go to all these dances. Uh, I remember hearing for the first time Ramiro Ramirez. And I was like, man, this guy sings awesome, dude. Is that Elvis? Yeah, I know, bro. Well, I was like, dude, I went to go see him. I went to go check him out. The first two dances, it was like uh, a little bit shaky because he was up, uh, you know, barely starting too. Mm -hmm. By the fourth, fifth dance, man, he was he was already packing the place. And I remember, man, I was right on the end over here. He was singing into Cantina and Cantina. I was over uh -huh. here. Oh, you see all these girls in the front. I'm like the only kid over here, man. I was like 14, 15 years old, bro. And he, he saw me singing. He, he went all the way to the, where I was. He put the microphone on. I was, I was 
started wow. singing in that cantina, cantina. He goes, come up here. Man, my heart was like, I was going to come bro. out, bro. And when I got off the stage, bro, I said, this is what I want to do. Bro. So that's when you knew. That was the this moment is, I told that you. That moment I said, this is what I want to do. Thank you, Ramirez. Thank you. Bro. Class act. Class exactly, act. Class act. Yes. He, he is a class act. Yes, he is. So, so, okay, so let's talk about the Rodeo days. You were with Grupo Rodeo. Yes. You were the lead, your, your front man. Tell me a little bit about your I time joined there. Rodeo back in 98. 98, okay. 98. Um, we recorded Sol de Viviendo, our first CD with uh, Capital DMI. Okay. It did awesome, man. We had a lot of hits there. Uh, we had... Of course, the main hit there was Esta Vez. Yep. Um, Amor Apasionado, Chaparra Mi Amor, Lloraré. And um, actually, that, that first that first year that I got with Grupo Rodeo, I got Mel Rising Star Wars to, uh, to TMA. So, Fantastic. It, yeah. Oh, so, so you took some time off to spend with your family and to get your health a little bit better, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it all happened so fast, man. I, had, I started getting acid reflux. Okay. You know? And it just started getting worse and worse. And it started affecting my vocal cords. So yeah, man, I took a hiatus for about 15, almost 15, 16 years. Wow. Yeah, 15, so how long years. have you been back and comfortable enough to start to, performing again? Uh, back in 2019. Okay, 2018. so. 2018. Oh, so just a couple years ago. I, actually, you know what? We had our anniversary, and um, I, I, I had the chance to get all, almost all the musicians from Rodeo. Okay. And I had this band from here from San Antonio, Friday, Friday, play my anniversary. And all the rest of the guys, they go, you ready, man. Time to come back. It's time to come back. And and I felt it that night, man. I said, you know what? I'm ready. I feel it. I, I can feel it here in my vocal cords. I, uh -huh. I feel strong. I feel confident. That's why I'm going to take it. Yeah. One more ride, man. All right. Well, this yeah. is a ride. Hey, well, so, okay. Well, you're on the ride now. Thank so, you. so tell us about your new music. What do you my have on there? My new music in 2019, it's an all digital platform entitled Sonia Dor de Amor. Okay. And it's still going strong for me, actually. Yeah. Kept me right now to, to where I am right now with my new single that is coming out uh, April 15th. April. Okay, so, so and what's the name of the new single? The new single is called Raito de Luz, written, Raito by, de Luz. Uh, written by Mr. Humberto Beto Ramon. Oh, okay, <laughs> so hey man, so all right, I guess uh, anything you want to tell your fans before we go? Well, I mean, just listen, Where do they find listen, you? How can they get your music? Yeah, all my music is on digital platforms. Okay. Uh, Roel Martinez, the fan page, Roel Martinez as well. Instagram, okay. Roel Martinez Oficial. This new, this new material is going to come out under Red Room Records. Under Greg Ramirez, um, John Anthony Vega, and uh, of course uh, Mary Jane okay. from Red Room Records. Red Room Records. And I think Records. they, yeah, they have a Magnifico Siete on their label as well. Oh yeah, so, they're, they're yeah, good. They're so good. We try to make some noise for them as well, man. Okay, booking agent, Mr. Bill Angelini. Oh, so, Angelini, think, yeah, what's up, Bill? Yeah, he's he he, he, he we, we just hooked up about a, two months ago. So, brother, yeah. last question: How proud is your family of you for getting back on on the horse, if you will? If, if it wasn't for them, you know, my kids, my wife. Yeah. For me, I really, I thought I was, I was done that. But it wasn't for them pushing me all this time here. Now, you know, you, you need to get go back to singing, my, especially my wife. I hear you, and I know you can sing already. So when are you going to start? You know, let's go. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's go. Get into it. And. Yeah. Well, we find, what do they say behind every great man is a better woman or exactly. something like that, right? Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. you got a good so, wife, man. That's good, yeah. brother. So, and hey, I, brother, I appreciate the time this oh, afternoon, thank you man. Much, thank man. you for coming by, TMA TV. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, brother. This is Alicia Liao, TMA TV, and I've been with Roel Martinez, Roel Martinez. Mr. Laredo, right? Saluditos. Great interview, guys. Now let's check out the latest music video by Tejano artist Roel Martinez. <laughs>
acariciándote También tu colorete para besar tus labios Imagínate, te quiero tanto, tanto Que ya no sé qué hacer Video by Roel Martinez. It looks like we've run out of time for this week's episode of TMA TV. If you'd like to reach out to us to appear on the show, or if you know who you would like to see on the show, or if your company is interested in sponsor partnerships, hit us up online at www.tahanamusicawardstv.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, I'm your host, Leah Cruz, and we thank you so very much for checking out this week's episode of TMA TV. Good night, and we'll see y'all next week. Hey, TMA TV parents and grandparents. If you think your little ones are good Tejano dancers, send us a video of them doing their best Tejano moves for a chance to appear on our show. Email us your videos to info at TejanoMusicAwardsTV.com. Good luck, y'all.